Hello and welcome back again to MVABullshit.com. So the topic for this video is dividend policy and dividend payout with regard to cash dividends. Remember you can always go back to MVABullshit.com. Alright, so please note this video shows an example where the company uses cash to pay dividends to the owners or shareholders or stockholders. There are also other ways a company pays dividends to its shareholders, such as by giving free new shares of stock to its shareholders, or by the company simply buying back its own shares in the general stock market. And these two are, this is slightly more complicated, alright, um, but it's still easy. So I explained that in my other videos on MBABullshit.com, dividend policy and dividend payout, stock repurchase, and dividend policy um, regarding stock splits or stock dividends. Okay, so please don't be confused about these different ways of giving dividends to your stockholders. All right. So regarding cash dividends, let's start with a question. Okay, why would you want to own part of a company? Well, because the company can earn more money, or can, I'm sorry, because the company can earn money, right? But so what? Who, what? who cares if your company earns money? Well, it's the co it's the company which earns money, and it's not you, right? So why 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 would you want the company to earn money? Because in theory, after a company earns profits or money, it pays all of that money to you. In theory, of course, in real life, they don't pay the whole thing. They keep some of the money for themselves, but in, th oh, in the company, so that they can use it for expansion and stuff like that. But in theory, after a company earns profits and money, it pays that money to owners like you in the form of dividends. Okay, it's called dividends. It's just their way of. It's just a name. Okay, dividends is just a name for money that the company pays to you. With, uh, with their profits because you're one of the owners of the company so it's your share of the profits so that's good right it sounds great you own part of the company it earns money it earns profit and it shares the profit with the owners such as you okay but in real life okay some companies are stingy they keep 100% of the money or the profits inside the company and they pay 0% of the money to owners and shareholders or stockholders like you. So that's horrible, right? It sounds horrible, at least. However, other companies are generous. They might pay 100% of their profits to owners and shareholders and stockholders like you and keep only 0% in the company. So that's great, right? So the first case it's horrible. In the second case, okay, the first case it's horrible. In the second case it's great. Or so we think. But let's see if that's really true. Alright. So which company would you like to invest in and buy, and buy shares in? This is buy. B-U-Y. <laughs> And you buy. Okay. Which company would you like to invest in and buy shares in? The stingy company or the generous company? Well, of course, you'd like to buy shares into the generous company because whenever there's a profit, they give it to owners such as you. Question is Are you really sure you would want to put your money in the generous company? Let's take a look at this case right now. Okay, on Monday let's yeah let's just let's just I need to put some days of the week so that you can see what happens um, in time. Okay, because at different times you see different things. You'll see in a while. So on Monday, Mr. Bob owns ABC Company, which has one hundred dollars cash and two hundred dollars worth of equipment. So the company is worth a total of three hundred dollars. Okay, so that's Bob over there. So let's see, Monday, he owns his company, which has, oh yeah, he, he, owns the, he, he owns a company, 
which has $100 cash and $200 worth of equipment. So on Monday, Bob has zero cash for himself, okay? In his own pocket, in Bob's pocket, not in the company. So this $100 cash is in the uh, vault of the company. It is not in Bob's pocket, okay? So on Monday, Bob has zero dollars cash in his own pocket, but he owns a company worth three hundred dollars. Why is the company worth three hundred dollars? Because it has one hundred dollars in cash and the company also has two hundred dollars in equipment. So that's why it's three hundred dollars. Okay? So what is Bob's total wealth on Monday? Okay? It is three hundred dollars. Okay? Because he even if Bob has no cash, he owns a company worth three hundred dollars. But on Tuesday, ABC Company pays one remember ABC Company has one hundred dollars cash in its vault. On Tuesday, ABC pays its one hundred dollars cash to its owner Bob. So now the company has zero cash, but it still has two hundred dollars of equipment. So how much is the company worth now? Okay. Well, it's now worth only two hundred dollars down from three hundred dollars. Okay? Because it had two hundred dollars worth of equipment plus one hundred dollars cash. Now the company only has two hundred dollars in equipment. So now the company's total worth is two hundred dollars. So on two what happens on Tuesday? Bob now owns one hundred dollars cash. What, where did Bob get this one hundred dollars cash? Well, because the um, because the company ABC paid one hundred dollars cash to Bob. So now Bob has one hundred dollars cash inside his pocket. Okay. But his company, Bob's company, is now worth only two hundred dollars. Why? Because the company which was worth three hundred dollars is now worth only two hundred dollars because the company already gave up, gave away its one hundred dollars cash to Bob. So what is Bob's new total wealth? It is still three hundred dollars. You see? So the question is Okay, oh, by the way, uh, before anything else, this assumes that the shares of stock are easily converted to cash, like it can be sold in the stock market. So, in this case, the company is worth $200. If Bob wants to have $200 instead of the company, well, Bob can easily go to the stock market and convert or change his company to cash in the stock market. Alright? So, anyway. The question is, the, sh uh, the point is, even if the company is generous and pays its dividends, it still doesn't help Bob in the end. Okay, his worth, okay, his net worth changed from three hundred dollars to still three hundred dollars, even if the company paid him a cash dividend of one hundred, because when the company paid him a cash dividend of one hundred. The company's own value went down from 300 to 200, and so now Bob's Bob's holdings in the company are now of lower value. So the conclusion is, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter whether a company pays cash dividends to its shareholders or not. And it, because it won't affect the total wealth of the owners or shareholders or stockholders. Okay, and that is if you believe this theory. Okay, there are different theories in finance, and I'm discussing all of them one by one, which are taken up in business school. So that um, depending on the theory that your professor um, wants, okay, well, you can answer it. All right, and this is not only for business students. You might be a, a stock investor and, and think that it's better to invest in a company which pays higher dividends. You may be correct, okay, in real life, but it's also good to think about this 
theory as well. Okay, so let's go to the real world now. In the real world, some investors actually do prefer high dividend stocks. And yet other people prefer low dividend stocks. Okay, why is that? Okay.